A few years back, I was digging through some some old Christian Development Committee minutes and Sunday school records, and I found a number of documents from the 1960s that made me smile. I found lists of Sunday school leaders, youth group leaders, um, some guide and scout leaders, committee chairs, um, Christmas musical leaders, uh, and, and so on. And these lists included your names and the names of some who have since passed. And it made me smile to know that y'all have been doing children and youth ministry for over 60 years. You, you certainly served your time uh, in the trenches, as it were, as program leaders, and uh, and by embedding yourself in the governance structure as advocates, and you have you have financially underwritten the continuation of children and youth programming here at Grace, even through the creation and funding of of my position. You have served the young people of Grace, and served the young people of our community for decades and in a number of ways. As I've been exploring the adolescent malaise that seems so prevalent among our young people today, I, I believe I've come to understand something of the problem at hand, something that I suspect that you, um, that you quite naturally understand and further, I think I found something of an answer that I suspect you will intuitively get. I want, to, I want to explore with you the ways in which you remain um, integral to the process of delivering what I call umbilical nutrients into the lives of our young people. And I want to explore with you ideas for how you can continue to underwrite children and youth ministry here at Grace in, in a comfortable, out-of-the-trenches kind of way, if that is your preference. I have six categories or six domains within which you can plug in in, in a simple way and offer ongoing support to our children and our youth. So here are some examples. First, if you know how to bake cookies or some sort of snack or simply buy snacks and drinks, anything edible, and bring them into the church for me to offer when running children and youth programming, it goes a long way. As you know, these are staples for, um, for children and youth ministry. Providing food is one simple way that you can continue to support ministry here at Grace. Here's another way. Some of you periodically ask me if I need money for children and youth ministry. And quite often there are program ideas and opportunities that pop up sort of mid-budget cycle. That ideas that can't wait for the next budget cycle to be able to implement. So for me to know who you are and to approach you um, for just-in-time funds, that would be a great help for me. Here's another way. For those of you who like to come out to things like the campfire or other congregational events, for you to make it your ministry to follow up these events by writing a letter, an old school letter, actually writing on paper, and then mail it, snail mail it to one of the children that you encounter at an event, say a soup lunch as an example. I think receiving an old school snail mail letter in the mail by an adult from the church would be confounding to one of our kids. 
confounding in the most beautiful way. Here's another way to plug in. As a wise elder, to wrap up one of our congregational events by offering a reflection of what just happened, for you to take the microphone and just very briefly and simply frame the event in your own words to help young people understand on a different level what we just shared together. Here's another idea, another opportunity. Kids hanging out in the church sometimes means that things get broken. It's a part of youth ministry. For me to have a list of people who will just quietly take care of it when, for example, a door needs repair or a folding table needs some loving. It would be handy for me to have a list of folks to simply call. Or finally, I'd love to have a group of people who pray for our children, who remember our youth and pray for them by name and by circumstance. So as we continue to bounce back from COVID, as new energies are released to continue with our mission of being a nesting place for young families in Sarnia, these are some of the ways that I can think of that you can plug in. So I'll be hosting a post-worship meeting on Sunday, September 17th to put a little more flesh on some of these six areas of leadership and then to launch them with your help. So please join me after worship on Sunday, September 17th in the Friendship Room for a brief conversation.